We're in a bit of a sticky situation here. We're on the first base of Sand Crossing and we're attacking. I'm using the KH-2002 Assault Rifle, although that's a bit of a tricky name to say. So I often prefer to shorten it down to the KH-2K2 or just simply the KH. But no matter what name you want it to go by, it's a neat gun all the same. But I'll come back to that in just a minute. I am planning the charge. As we'd been cut down to just our last few remaining tickets, as my squad mate in this game, Nick, had managed to break into B and get the plants off right to the death. And this bomb site is a pain in the ass and is usually heavily fortified, as it had been all game. But we've cleared it out with just enough time to get a plants in, and now it's my turn to defend it. He's defusing right now. All right then, that don't belong to you, sunshine. Out you get. Oh, that was beautiful, boo. Oh, I thank you, Nick. I personally would have said that my shooting there was sloppy as shit, but I guess it got the job done. Good teamwork there, just in the nick of time. Base taken. Let's be on our way. And off to Grand Bazaar we went, sometime later. So the KH-2002 is an assault rifle, and it's a bit of an oddball as far as the assault rifles go, because it will only fire in bursts of three rounds, or in single shots. It cannot fire fully auto. It's probably most comparable to the M16A4, as that gun also only shoots in bursts or single shots. And if my memory serves me correctly, even these iron sights look a little bit M16-ish. And is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> That's mostly up for you to decide. For me, I wouldn't exactly say these are the worst iron sights in the world, but they're certainly far from the best. And being a burst gun, it requires some serious precision from the shooter, meaning that a nice, clear, precision gun sight will be much more desirable than these default iron sights. I find that it's only at very distant long range that you might be struggling without the help of a red dot, but for more close-up situations like these in Grand Bazaar, the iron sights are certainly not that bad. They're definitely usable until you can unlock something, like the Cobra red dot. And now our work in the BMCOM is complete, I field my team and myself up with the medkit, and I can take a look over at A and guard the road as the MCOM gets planted. With the help of the tank, we'll be taking this base, no problem. Except, I'm gonna run out of ammo with the KH, and I will end up getting myself killed with the pistol, but nevertheless, the MCOM will belong to us thanks to that tank placement. I can just get one with the M9, and that is until I get a little too ambitious and attempt to hop over the barricade, M9 only, and I get my ass handed to me. I just wish I could find a bloody ammo box when I needed one. <laughs> I got my eye on you support, guys. <laughs> but still, no matter. Time to move on. So now this is a KH with the Russian red dot side, the Cobra. Kind of a fan favorite because of the horizontal and the vertical lines, and I can safely say I've grown to like it a lot myself too. And as you might imagine, a burst firing assault rifle is well suited to mid-long range gunfights. And this includes this area of the Sand Crossing Bridge, particularly on defense, because when you're posted up on the bridge and you occasionally step up to the watchtowers, you're at a lovely ideal range with a very, very clear line of sight looking slightly downwards. And I feel like the KH-2K2 is the perfect gun for that kind of placement. It handles extremely well in these typical cross-the-bridge fights. Unfortunately for me, there's no way I was ever going to defuse the A-bomb back then, and they took this base and we had to fall back, but... I feel like it's always worth hanging around if you feel like you can knock off a few of their tickets before they can all push up together. It delays them and gives you a better fighting chance later on when they finally manage to get a move on. So I'm glad that when I stuck around to try and pick off a few, I had this little gem of an assault rifle with me. It certainly made those long shots down the road a lot easier than it would have been if I had been using something like an AEK-971. But sadly, all good streaks, as always, must come to an end as I get a double kill right here, but as I'm reloading, I get unexpectedly clipped underneath the stairs, and the automated admin chat seemed to think that I'd loaded the hacks for this 21 killing spree. Have to say, and this is probably one of the few times I'll say it, I tried out a whole bunch of the sights for the gun, and I found the Russian holographic sights to feel the most stable of all of them, in terms of the frame holding steady and not kicking about so violently. Flash suppressor can also help you out with that, but I find that heavy barrel is a much, much more useful attachment for a gun like this in particular, where you'll want to play to your strengths of long-range fighting and take them even further. I don't consider the foregrip to be a very useful choice because horizontal recoil is not really an issue with this gun whatsoever, and I'd find it unnecessary to reduce that only to make your bullet spread worse. Although I can safely say there's one gun sight which does contest this holographic sight for me as the best for the KH-2K2 and it's the IRNV scope. It just complements it so well. There's one, there's two, and there's the three-piece. 
at a decent range, and I'm surprised I managed to get three with one magazine and an assault rifle, because I'm usually happy if I can get two with just 30 bullets. Where holographic sights stable at visual recoil, the IRMV scope removes visual recoil entirely, because you're not looking down a gun sight, you're actually looking through a scope that removes peripheral vision, so they synergize very well. All in all, this gun's a lot of fun to use, very satisfying to kill people with, no matter what attachments you're using, and it's utterly deadly if you can encounter one enemy at a time. Oh, God, I said one at a time, I'll consider myself extremely lucky that I get a quad spray out of this. But please, don't do that to me again. I tend to get a little cack-handed when I see too many enemies at once. Don't scare me like that. But that's going to do it for the KH-2002 in Battlefield 3. Hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.